everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Friday to all of you. Now, I'm going to give you a quick update on this extreme pattern that we're going into. It is High Ridge and bringing all these storms to the south and the east side of the U.S. Because that is going to add up to a lot of rainfall real quick. Now, real quick, if you're in any of these pink sections, you are under a heat warning. This is all the way until midnight tonight for most areas. This means you have a good chance to have a heat index of 110 today. All this red is heat advisory, which means you have a good chance of heat index of at least 105 today. Today is going to be a very hot day before these storms come down for today and tomorrow. Bring y'all some cooler temperatures, but bring y'all a lot of heavy rainfall. Now, according to National Weather Service, within the next five days, everybody in all this red is going to see at least two to three inches of rainfall. And that's within the next five days. Next three days is going to be in the Carolinas and it's going to stretch further south as we go towards the five days. And so far, that's going to stretch all the way from the West Bank of Louisiana, Southern Mississippi, Southern Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, Southern Georgia, Southern South Carolina, and Eastern North Carolina. A big strip a very heavy rainfall coming. I know a lot of y'all need it, but this is a lot of rainfall just within a little amount of time. So there's going to be a lot of flooding from this. And real quick, we did help out a food pantry. They're only allowed because of the new laws to open because they only have so many workers about two hours once per week. So we helped them out this, this month, guys. They really needed a lot of help. And two hours, one day a week really don't give them a lot of time. So we did a lot of good help for them, and we're going to help them again next month, as well as something new. So remember, if you want to get involved in that, links are always in the description to help support people with helping food. But it was a good what time. What we can do is, as, is unload you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great group of people. So if you want to see the video, I will mark it in the corner as well. And I'll put this video up here as well, so you can check this out, guys. A new tropical update, because with the new La Nina pattern continuing on, is really going to ramp things up and i'll give you a better timing of when you can expect this to start happening okay it's going to come off strong now we're still about to go into this very extreme pattern when you look at your epo your east pacific oscillation which shows you whether you're going to go into a ridge or a trough on the west side of the u.s you can see that we're going to go into a very high ridge still all the way into the 15th or 16th that is going to keep our jet stream going very high on the west u.s still bringing it very low into a trough on the east side of the U.S. and continuing all these storms and all this rain is going to keep adding up. Matter of fact, the GFS is showing that not only for this first one that we're about to go into, that we're into now, that we're going to have a possibility of a second one coming in the 20s of July. So this could happen again. I'll just give you a quick update for those that maybe did not see it. This is your 200 millibar pressure. This is so you can see a jet stream. I showed you this yesterday. As we go into this severe weather, that's going to be going all the way from the northwest all the way to the southeast. Then we're going into this big high ridge where this is going all the way into Canada. You remember when I showed y'all big dew points, big strong temperatures going all the way into Canada. It is going to be a big event. And it's going to keep all this going all the way from the northwest all the way to the southeast as we keep on going through the days. This pattern is going to stay in here for quite some time. And you can see this when you look from the 6 to 10 day temperature probabilities. You can see how you're average to below average because of that. I want to say cold front, but really it's a cooler <laughs> front moving through on the east side of the U.S. Why are you still in that very high ridge on the west side of the U.S. bringing all these above average temperatures? At the same time, it's going to bring a lot of this rainfall. As you look at the rainfall, as we go all the way till tomorrow, it starts adding up per hours on this storm. Then it's really going to stick in for Saturday and Sunday for the Mid-Atlantic. But as you move through Sunday and Monday, it's going to go towards the south and the southeast with all this heavy rainfall. And then maybe a surface low could form up somewhere in the northern Gulf. Chances are it will not. So as you look with National Weather Service on the amount of rainfall y'all going to be getting, anywhere in this red to dark purple is two to three inches of rainfall. Once you start getting to that orange like out here in the Atlantic, that starts getting up to four and maybe five inches of rainfall. So for the next two days, as this big high ridge starts moving in on the west side of the U.S., shoving all these storms towards the mid-Atlantic, you're going to add up to a lot of rainfall. First, it's going to start off for Virginia, North Carolina within three days is going to move down from South Carolina to Georgia. Then when you go for the full five days, then it's going to move all the way down to the deep south. 
Potential upper level low, maybe a surface low can form on the edge of the Gulf. Chances are showing that maybe just an upper level low, nothing super serious. But regardless, it's going to squeeze out and go out through the Atlantic within seven days. So you're going to get a lot of heavy rainfall coming just within the next few days. And this pattern could show true again as we get into the 20th. So for today, you have flash flooding marginal in the green, but you have a big slight risk right here for the Ohio, Tennessee Valley, as well as over here for the Carolinas and Virginia. For tomorrow, it's going to stay on the East Coast as it continues to feed all these storms just towards this one area. And then as you go through Sunday, it's going to move a little bit further south with your slight risk. Still have marginal for everywhere else, but this is where your heaviest rainfall is going to train over and over for days. Now, this is bringing a few days of severe weather. For today, is bringing a little bit of a tornado chance. You have a 2% area. I actually can see this mild down to a smaller area. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of a chance for long-lived cells, even chances for strong tornadoes. Just a lot of lightning, thunderstorms, and some possible winds. But you do have a wind threat. You do have a hail threat for today. Most of it's going to be in Montana. Remember, all these storms are starting over and over from Montana, from the upper Midwest, coming down to the Mid-Atlantic for the next few days. Now for tomorrow, you still have the severe weather threat. You have all these thunderstorms, all this heavy rain moving through. The tornado chances are going to be mostly in the upper Midwest for the longest time because of this high ridge that we're going into. A little bit of a wind threat and a little bit of a hail threat, but everything is going to be in the upper Midwest. Just because you have storms moving through is not for the rest of the country. It is going to be for this one area and the same thing for sunday as well as you go through sunday all your severe weather threat is in the upper midwest so just because we have days and days of severe weather that don't mean it's over the whole country you're going to have severe weather in upper midwest but as far as the rest of the country it's going to be a lot of heavy flooding coming in a very short time and you can see here on your probabilities of your ensembles of what could happen in the gulf and you can see right here on e3 that it does have a chance to be an upper level low front induced Maybe something could form up very weak and curve around to the west, and that's about it. But as you look at all the ensembles, that is only one that's showing anything, and it's not showing anything of significance. And of course, you look at your controlled member, you can see in your controlled member that nothing is expected to form out of that storm. Maybe an upper level low, that's about it. Nothing super serious, guys. This is getting smushed in between a high pressure that's out in the Atlantic, plus the high pressure from the cool front. That's going to make all this precipitation go right in between the mid-Atlantic and go out to the eastern of the U.S. And that's going to be a lot of heavy rainfall. That's going to be a serious and most extreme threat is the rainfall. But that's it, guys. Just a quick update on what's expected as far as this rainfall because it's really starting to add up and you really need to take precautions for all that rain. But God bless all of you. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. I hope you have a very great Friday. Psalm. 101. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit, shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Amen. Have a very blessed day, everybody. Thank you so much again for visiting my channel. I do appreciate it. And all power. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, our Father, forever and ever.
Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a blessed Friday, everybody.